It starts with sand, not the beach kind, pure quartz silicon dioxide. Heat it with carbon until it sheds oxygen and becomes metallurgical silicon. Then we purify it again and again. Chemistry so precise, a single stray atom is a problem. Now it turns liquid. A seed crystal dips in a perfect cylinder grows from molten silicon, that's the ingot. We slice wafers thinner than a coin polish to mirror grade. This is where light writes logic. Coat with photoresist. Shine patterns through a mask. Extreme ultraviolet. 13.5 nanometers mirrors in vacuum drawing atomic scale features. Expose. Develop. Etch. Repeat. Implant ions to dope, turning silicon into tiny switches. Deposit metals, deposit insulators, deposit more silicon, layer by layer. Copper interconnects stack like a city in the sky. Chemical mechanical polish between layers because at this scale, a ripple is a mountain. Hundreds of steps, thousands of checks. Clean room sterility, cleaner than an operating theater. When the dance is done, we test every dye. Cut out good dyes, package them, wire bond them. Some become chiplets stitched for more power. Then they travel. Onto boards, into phones, laptop servers. Inside, billions of transistors flicker. Each a gate. Each a whisper of electrons saying yes or no trillions of times a second. From ordinary sand, refined by firelight and math, becomes the brain in your pocket. The most complex thing most of us will ever own born from the most common thing beneath our feet. That's the alchemy of modern computing.